Welcome back to Easy and Different Radiology. Today, our appointment number six with tips and hands. Today, I will talk about the reverse batwing and the COVID-19 variants. This is one from the amazing topics nowadays. Uh, I will talk about this issue through our my presentation. So let's start. If you, I presented with this frontal chest radiograph uh, and I asked it to describe the pattern of consolidations or abnormality in the film, so I will tell you after 10 seconds. If you look uh, at this film closely, you can differentiate these regions which are appearing black from that region or these regions which are appearing white. So this area is peripheral in the film and this area also is peripheral in the film and appearing white compared with the paracardiac regions which are appearing slightly black to it. In the chest, the white colors is representing early space diseases uh, or alveolar disease and these uh, uh, patterns of consolidations, airspace disease meaning consolidations. So consolidation, this pattern of consolidations is because it is peripheral in the film like this. So it is called reverse bat wing, not bat wing. It is reverse bat wing obesity of the lung. So my presentation today, I will talk about this reverse bat wing Opacity when I presented with this reverse bat wing opacity in the frontal chest radiograph or even in the CT examination, the peripheral consolidation subpleural location, uh, this is a differential need differential diagnosis. So, what is the definition at first for this reverse bat wing pulmonary opacities? As I mentioned before, this definitions is it refers this reverse bat wing it refers to peripheral obesities of the lungs, sparing the perihilar region. So if you presented with this appearance in the frontal chest radiograph or in the CT high resolution chest, it, you can describe it as a reverse bat wing. Okay, step by step, now we reach to diagnose or describe the abnormality in the film. When you describe the abnormality in the film as a reverse bat wing, what is the possibility of diagnosis at that time? So you need list of differential diagnosing to diagnose reverse bat wing sign. On the top of this is the COP, COP meaning cryptogenic organizing pneumonia. And the cryptogenic organizing pneumonia is the most common one for diagnosing of reverse bat wing signs or a considerable differentials when you presented with reverse bat wing. The old name of this scope is bronchiolitis obliterans organizing pneumonia and is a, uh, uh, the, it can be called as a POP, however this is the old name for that. The new name now is the cryptogenic organizing pneumonia. The second most common diagnosis or considerable diagnosis also if you presented with reverse bat wing consolidations in the lung uh, is the SIP. So you have to mean differential diagnosis for these patterns of abnormality, COP and SIP. SIP meaning chronic eosinophilic pneumonia and also can be considered when you have any other findings or data, historical data, uh, which favor that diagnosis like presence of a peripheral eosinophilia or uh, asthmatic patient or like this. So Chronic xenophilic pneumonia can be considered also in differential diagnosis of this, can be considered strongly in the diagnosing of reverse bat wing pattern. If, if is there or are there any other abnormalities or pathologies can cause this reverse bat wing signs? Yes, there are still about four 
other causes can cause reverse bat wing abnormality in the chest. Uh, however, these uh, causes, the next cause which I talk about it now, soon, need uh, history uh, to diagnose it. Uh, the one first one of these uh, less likely diagnosing, not like strong diagnosis of COP and SIB, is the PEC. PEC meaning bronchoalveolar cell carcinoma, and the bronchoalveolar cell carcinoma can consider the diagnosing if you have any history uh, raising the possibility of this pathology, like weight loss or uh, uh, bronchoalveolar lavage of cells, which are confirming the pre presence of malignancy or any uh, uh, associated mass with the lesions and, and like this. The uh, next one for differential diagnosis of reverse bat wing is a contusion, and this is, can be easily diagnosed if the patient has any history of trauma. Hemorrhage and infarctions can be considered in differential if the patient has uh, uh, appearance of the pulmonary embolism in the film or have any history of pulmonary embolism and the vasculitis which is sometimes called also vasculitis this is also can be easily diagnosed if the patient have any history so the other four depending on the history of the patient of this pathology uh, so uh, and and if you present the reverse between at that time you can consider one from these according to the history of pathology or history of diseases as a cause for that reverse bat wing appearance. However, still COP and SIB are the main diagnosing for the reverse bat wing sign. Let us practice to confirm, but before practice to confirm, don't forget the original COVID-19 or its variants like alpha, beta, gamma, delta, theta, etc as a diagnosing of the reverse bat wing sign nowadays because uh, this uh, issue or this pandemic disease is considered a diagnosing until proven otherwise if you presented with a reverse bat wing appearance in the frontal chest radiograph or even in the HRCT. However, the difference between the COVID-19 and the other mentioned differential diagnosis in the background is that this disease need acute onset of the patient like fever, shortness of breath and productive cough. However, all the others have indolent uh, onset of the disease and long time com complaining from the uh, uh, finding. And now we can start my our practice. This is the CT examination, HRCT for uh, lung in the lung window and showing the abnormality in the peripheral of the film. As we see, it is subpleural in locations, peripheral and sparing the perihilar region. Nearly even if there are abnormality in the perihilar region as an associated finding, the main pathology in this film is the peripheral consolidations. Now, if you have any history of uh, the disease, you can classify it according to the differential diagnosis. If you have unknown cause and the chronic status of the patient uh, and the patient will, so you can differentiate, you diagnose as a COP as until proven otherwise. COP meaning cryptogenic and the cryptogenic meaning unknown. Cryptogenic organizing pneumonia is the diagnosing until proven otherwise and in this case for diagnosed as a cryptogenic organizing pneumonia from that side. This is again the frontal chest radiograph which I started the presentation by it. There are peripheral consolidations in the uh, film and the sparing of the perihilar regions. So it is can described as a reverse between sign, reverse between signs depending on the history. If you have any history of peripheral eosinophilia or asthma, and in this case we have peripheral eosinophilia and asthma. So you can easily diagnose it as a SIP or chronic eosinophilic pneumonia. Again, if uh, presented with this uh, chest radiograph, this is a uh, HRCT corona reformatting image and presented with this consolidation as the periphery of the film and sparing subpleural location and sparing the perihilar region. So you can consider it even if it is unilateral like this case as a reverse bat wing and search in differential diagnosis uh, according to the history. If the patient have history of weight loss or associated mass, you can consider it as a PAC. Back meaning bronchoalveolar cell carcinoma. However, this is still an old name, bronchoalveolar cell carcinoma. 
according to the WHO, the new name now can be classified into three, invasive adenocarcinoma, minimally invasive adenocarcinoma, or adenocarcinoma in situ. So you can describe it, uh, describe it now as an adenocarcinoma, invasive, minimally invasive, or in situ, according to this history. Again, this is lung window, axial image for the lung, HRCT, and you presented with these lingual consolidations peripherally and sparing the perihiral region. So if it is, uh, uh, even if it is unilateral like this, you can consider it as a reverse batwing sign. Uh, so the reverse batwing sign is describing or differential diagnosing the peripherally located the consolidations. So peripherally located consolidations at that time with this history of trauma, you can consider it as a lung contusions, as the lung contusions is affecting of the alveolar spaces uh, without laceration. Uh, uh, which favor this contusion is uh, if there are any uh, bony fractures adjacent to the contusions like this case from that side, which is diagnosed as uh, line contusions uh, and associated with bony fracture. So uh, the history of trauma, bone fracture, rib fractures with consolidations, peripheral locations is called contusions and it may be the bony outlines fractures which is located peripherally in the film is the cause of this reverse between in that situation. Again, with reverse between signs, which appearing as a consolidation area in the subleural locations in the this lung window uh, axial view HRCT, with history of vascular disease, you can choose the vasculitis or vasculitis as a diagnosing for that case. Uh, uh, due to this history only. However, the other uh, uh, differential diagnosis in the list can be considered in differential diagnosis until you find a cause. Vasculitis can be due to small vessel disease or large vessel disease. This was a case of the small vessel vasculitis due to a xenophilic granulomatosis with polyangitis. And this is uh, all the name of that uh, syndrome, charge stress syndrome. And now it is called a xenophilic granulomatosis with polyangitis. Any vasculitis is not specific for the, uh, that disease. Any vasculitis can cause peripheral consolidations or reverse bat wing patterns in the HRCT or, uh, or uh, frontal chest radiograph. Small vessel, uh, other small vessel disease which can, can cause vasculitis and uh, Wigner's granulomatosis. Uh, Wigner's granulomatosis or the new name now is a granulomatosis with polyangitis. Uh, granulomatosis with polyangitis can cause this reverse between appearance. A xenophilic granulomatosis with polyangitis like this case. Uh, the good pasteur syndrome is also another one uh, from the small vessel disease, which can cause vasculitis. However, it differs from the other two above mentioned the two pathology uh, from uh, that the good pasteur syndrome is a non anchor in the laboratory test. However, this is two are anchor or uh, cytoplasmic anti neutrophilic cytoplasm can be found for this pathology in the laboratory test. Good pasteur is non anchor. The large vessel disease which can cause also vasculitis is a TKS arthritis, giant cell arthritis, or PCT disease. So uh, now you have a lot of uh, uh, causes for vasculitis. If the patient has any history of one of these diseases and appeared in the chest radiograph, reverse the batwing, so you can diagnose it as uh, associated to that vascular disease. Again, with the subleural peripheral consolidations, and now you have the cause in the film. Uh, this is the pulmonary embolism or filling defect in the pulmonary vessels, which can cause this uh, also consolidations uh, in the peripheral of the film. So these consolidations at that time, if you presented with pulmonary embolism case and reverse the wing, so you can diagnose it easily as a pulmonary infarction. Pulmonary infarctions, one from the list of the differential diagnosis of reverse batwing sign. And at the end, don't forget the presence of the subleural consolidations or ground glass opacity bilaterally with sparing of the 
central regions or very high regions can consider as a name of reverse batwing sign describe description radiological description of it is a reverse batwing sign however if the patient is presented with fever shortness of breath productive cough or any acute symptoms you can consider covid as a first possibility until proven otherwise and this was a case of delta variant from the covid as you know now covid have a lot of variants alpha beta gamma delta and theta and other variants and this was a case of delta variants which is showing bilateral subpleural locations or peripheral distributed the reverse between consolidations and the ground glass opacity which meaning also it, this COVID can be considered one from differential diagnosis and can consider the first one until proven otherwise if the patient presented with fever. The Delta Plus variants of COVID-19 has greater affinity to lung tissue as compared with the other strains. I think this is the last case. I hope I provide you with a clear knowledge about that issue, reverse between uh, abnormality. Uh, let me summarize my presentations before I finish it. If you presented with a reverse batwing uh, pattern of the consolidations in the frontal chest radiograph or even in the HRCT, you should consider COVID as a first possibility until proven otherwise, which favors this is the acute uh, status of the patient and the presence of fever and uh, cough, shortness of breath. However, if the patient is well and uh, have a chronic manifestations, with these findings of reverse batwing, you can consider consider COP or SIP as a possible diagnosis on the top of the differential diagnosis in the chronic situations. The other causes like contusions, infarctions, adenocarcinoma or vasculitis should be considered in your mind as a cause for that differential diagnosis reverse between appearance. However, each one should uh, associate it with a cause like uh, trauma and contusions or weight loss in adenocarcinoma or presence of pulmonary embolism and infarctions or presence of history of anyone from the vascular disease, small or large vascular disease, uh, which is causing the vasculitis uh, to diagnose it or consider it as a diagnose for the reverse between sign. Thank you very much for your watching and have a nice day. Thank you.